About 20 years ago, the clients here requested an addition. We've had uh, basically leaking windows. The clients had called four different contractors. They didn't address the window itself. They addressed everything around the window. Look at how rotten this is. This whole structure has to be replaced. Oh my God. Look at, we gotta replace that. That is the top cap. This is wonderful. I did expect some water damage. I didn't expect it to be so bad. Man, we could end up breaking this window to get it out. Mike Holmes, did they actually do this right? No, no, they didn't. No fuckers. You want a good job to keep me in shape? I'll be a contractor. Unacceptable. God, I love my job. <laughs>This was a three-bedroom house. We didn't have space, so we started thinking in terms of uh, either moving or adding. We didn't want to move out of the city. We didn't want to add more commute time. So that was the background for not really moving out of the city. About 20 years ago, the clients here requested an addition and uh, hired an engineer, an architect, and real funky architect as he came up with a wild design on this. Morning. We've had uh, basically leaking windows, and then it comes right to the basement. Every time, you know, it snows, rains, um, and there's a lot of accumulation, um, you know, for as long as I can remember, it's been like this. Good morning. Hi, Mike. How are you today? Good, how are you? Not so bad, thank you. Nice to see you, Razima. The clients had called four different contractors at four different times to come in and repair this problem ranging right from weeping tiles uh, to around the window to just quick little lipstick fixes that were just not good enough. Each time I'm, I'm confident that the problem will be addressed and the first major rainstorm and this whole area is flooded. One of the contractors uh, assumed it was the weeping tile. It was the first thing he went for. He didn't even look at anything else. So we know they dug all this up and they done a new weeping tile around. Did, did they go right to here by chance? No, just in the front. What they charge you for that? Maybe about a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred. I can't remember. Wasted money. It was not needed. I mean, that's beautiful. Look at that. They put up a skirt flashing with no sealant whatsoever. And I can see right inside the brick that it's just no good. If we... Uh, to the point of taking some of this off to get to see more. Look at that one, just completely rotten. That shows that we have a large amount of water coming in behind the siding. Yep. I think we're gonna see a lot more once I go up here. Another contractor says, oh, it's from the outside of the window. This is somebody's idea of fixing the leak, just attaching a piece of wood to and uh, nails up a piece of wood on the outside and puts a little bit of caulking on it and I think he charged $250. That and then was... they didn't even seal the wood. The wood's just no. gonna absorb the water and go yeah. right through behind it. It has to be sealed. Yeah. The water's coming in behind it and yeah. it's not coming in from the front of it. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take this all down. Someone came on the inside, did some work on the inside, which they'll never fix it from the inside. Uh, but nobody really decided to look where it was coming from, which was above. I don't like this one though, neither. You can oh, tell. there's all kinds of water. You can damage. tell that yeah. there's some. All kinds, look at that. Yeah. Damage under there. Th that I wonder if that's even supported. No insulation, nothing. Well, they have yeah. some insulation, but not yeah. much. Uh, it's obvious all this has to come off. The window's gonna have to come out. We're gonna replace the windows. We need to put a header in across here, which will be a structural support to hold the top window and separate it from the bottom. We're gonna take this down and put in a proper window. We'll put in a, a vinyl slider, I think you'll like that. So we'll hit the whole corner. We'll replace this window, the atrium window, the full length, up on top, new skylight, and we're gonna open up all of this. I can't wait to actually put a ladder up there and take a look at it. Okay, that's perfect. We'll bring you back. We'll show you Thank how we're you. gonna fix Thank this. You. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Let me get to work. Okay. We just can't pull it out, it's too dangerous. About 20 years ago, the clients here requested an addition. We've had uh, basically leaking windows. The clients had called four different contractors. They didn't address the window itself. They addressed everything around the window. So we'll hit the whole corner, the atrium window, the full length, 
up on top, new skylight, and we're gonna open up all of this. Okay, well this is uh, a little less rotten, but still rotten by the window, look at that. All they did was staple in the starter strip for the siding, it's only stapled. And look at the rot we have in between the window. There's no insulation at all in between the window and the framing. They've used the wood as a flashing. All the screw holes and nail holes are not cocked. It should be metal flashing and not wood. That's gonna, I'm surprised we don't have a leak inside the house here. This will never work, this will never stay. You cannot trust caulking. Caulking will break up after a year or two. You have to have a proper flashing kit for a skylight. And this is not even a proper skylight. Look how the water pools here. Look at the, the break in the seal here. Everything to do with this area is going to leak. We know the water's coming in directly above here and right down inside the wall. The evidence is at the bottom where all the wood is rotten. Let's pull all this off. Look at how rotten this is. This is just unbelievable. This whole structure has to be replaced. We have to rebuild the whole thing. I did expect some water damage. I didn't expect it to be so bad. You got guys that are installing windows and they just don't care. And that's what this is a result of, someone who doesn't care. You see this? It's not sealed at the bottom at all. So whenever the water came down here, it would just make its way in. So this is a major zone right here as to the leaks going inside the house. And we could end up breaking this window to get it out. You grab that side. Just be, really. be prepared to uh, run that way. <laughs> and try not to let it go. If it shatters, let it go and move. Okay, oh, whoa, right, whoa, that's whoa, it. whoa. That's it. it. I'm not playing with it anymore. We just can't pull it out. It's too dangerous. I don't want anybody on the bottom. I don't like glass. Uh, we're gonna have to smash the glass. This is too dangerous, anybody being down here, so I want nobody in the bottom. We're gonna throw a brick right from the first floor out. I uh, personally believe that Sean has done this before. You know, you're not really allowed to break windows, but when you get the opportunity, you gotta take full advantage. Well, this is not really recommended to pull a window out this way. Anybody down at the bottom and a big piece of glass comes down, it's a guillotine. Sean noticed that the sides of the windows, the jams, were installed incorrectly. This is not done properly. We want to see the two by fours turn this way so they're, they're flat from this side to this side. What they've done is run them this way, one on top of each other, and for a structured wall, it's incorrect. It creates a flexible window, and that is not a good thing. It breaks the seal all the time. Heavy winds, anything like that will break the seal. It's just flexible. It's no good. Tied structurally into nothing, we want it the other way. This wall here is not insulated. This is the addition to the house, and the old house used to go to that wall there where the green tape is. But soon as they put up this addition and created this atrium, this should have been insulated. What is happening is the concrete is gonna pick up the cold, carry it through, and the brick, I mean, it's gonna carry it through the cold and make this a cold zone on the inside. So that again, this was improper, and this was the builder. Look how they've done the siding. That siding should be right to the roof. We want nothing to come in this area. When snow sits here, it's gonna work its way in. That siding is a very poor job. We have exterior screws through the siding to hold it in, so obviously no creatures can get in, but it's a wet zone. It makes me laugh and it pisses me off. It's just, it's inexcusable. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Oh, Water has gotten in there. This is huge. Lovely installation, guys. Let's grab one of them trucks with the big ball and just come over and smash this whole side off and do it again. Look, like, look at that. That's just so much water over the years has been built up inside that. It's just retained the moisture. Look at, we got to replace that. That is the top cap. That is the top plate of the, of the studded wall. Oh my God. Okay, here we are at the studded this wall. This is wonderful. We're going to pull down all this drywall because I want to take a look at it. We could literally re be replacing all of the structure in this area. Anybody there? 
I can see right inside the house. That's, that's just, God, I love great work. This is great work. You know, it's always more work than you expect. Three. Not one person pulled out the siding to see how rotten that was. Everybody assumed it was either the weeping tile, uh, a little bit of uh, caulking necessary at the top here. That'll solve it. Yeah, right. Not only was the sill all rotten in the inside plate here, Paulie just pulled this wall down with no effort whatsoever, was not tied into anything. Uh, it was held together by drywall. Well, we are going to be here for a while. It's not like we can just look at the clock. It's okay, it's dinner time, we leave. So as long as it takes, we'll be here. You know, it's always more work than you expect. Look at we gotta replace that. That is the top cap. That is the top plate of the, of the studded wall. Let's grab one of them trucks with the big ball and just come over and smash this whole side off. The rain. I'm really a little worried about this. I don't think it's gonna rain much, but it won't hurt to cover this up a bit and just make sure we don't get water in there. I think we're gonna cover both tools and just give it a second here. We're gonna keep going. We do not want wood to touch concrete at all, so we make sure we put a plastic ba uh, barrier in between the wood and the concrete. Uh, the concrete itself will rot the wood, so always have a wrapping. We have a bottom plate here. A king stud is a full stud which goes to the bottom plate right up to the top. We do not want the weight load from the top window. It's such a big window. We don't want that weight load on the bottom window. Now we've now stuck a header and we've used two two by sixes with half inch plywood in between screwed right across. That has created a solid beam. Everything is interlocked and structurally now that the two by fours are no longer this way, they're now this way, tied into the two by sixes, there's no movement whatsoever. We've also anchored it and screwed it into the wall using Capcon screws. We're gonna put some more two by four in here. Then we're gonna sheet this. After sheeting the outside, we'll be ready to put the windows in. We have a little bit of glass in here, so be careful, eh? Well, we are going to be here for a while. It's getting dark out, we've had to set up our lights. But it's not like we can just look at the clock. It's okay, it's dinner time, we leave. We have to close this in. So as long as it takes, we'll be here. We're a little nervous because there's a possible chance of rain tonight. So I definitely want this at least sealed. We'll spray foam the edges, caulk this after we've got our, our wood up. We're gonna do a temporary roof across the top and tarp it and I'll be confident that it won't leak. Minimum code requirement says that we can use fiberboard on the outside of the house. I don't want to use the fiberboard because structurally it's not that strong. I prefer plywood. Plywood is much stronger. It's uh, to me a much better finish. So we, we have bought plywood, skirted the outside with the plywood. The window will come in. We will spray foam around the windows. So after we spray foamed, I will caulk the bottom, I will caulk the sides. So we're actually gonna be watertight without siding. Okay, we're just gonna put it down. Yes, ma'am. Would you like a cup of tea? I'd love a cup of tea. Here you go. Oh, you're a sweetie. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I heard about this tea. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> it's uh, got cardamom, cloves, and cinnamon. Oh, it's a cinnamon I taste. That's yeah. nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very kind of you. Get in there. Ah, nice. Yeah, just get that one set. Okay, push it out just a bit. One thing we want to make sure with shims is that we are equal from the inside to the outside. Because if you notice these, they're on an angle, right? If you stick one in too far and the other one not enough, then it's, it, it's actually pulling it to an improper squareness. So we want it square. We do not want this tight. We want it to be able to expand and contract with the, uh, the weather. Okay, stop. That's why we use shims. You never make it that it's a tight fit. This window this is a half inch thermal pane glass. They actually put in two pieces of glass with a sealant around it and vacuum the air out. By vacuuming the air out in between the glass, it stops it from fogging up in the winter, different temperatures from inside to outside. And anytime you see a window that is thermal, that has a fog inside it, the seal has been broken and it's time to be replaced. We're gonna spray foam the edges, make it weather tight from the window to the frame. We'll cut that off once it expands out and dries. 
then we'll get the other windows in and we'll be back tomorrow. Now we're on day three here. We got it all closed in on the inside, insulated vapor barrier, drywalled. We still have to pull this window. The siding guys are here today. Rob's up there just finishing the uh, shingles. As I feared, we had a little bit of rain the other night. Uh, it was heavy rain. We had no water come in, which was fabulous, which tells us we don't have any problem with the weeping tile down there. Uh, it was definitely coming from the roof and right down the wall. Sean's inside doing the uh, rest of the drywall. He's just putting up the corner beam to run the skylight. We restudded everything on the inside. We are removing the solarium window and putting in just a standard slider window. We might as well do the whole corner and that's what I'm looking at. Main reason for taking it down, the window's old and it's starting to leak now. I've cut the bottom jam because I want to pull off the whole window to see what I'm dealing with before I remove anything else for the window. I can see the outside silicone caulking they used right inside here. Easily fixed, you can put in some spray foam, but it, it, they even done some fill on the inside here, so it, it shows that none of this is insulated. Well, I don't know why they cut the brick. They cut the brick to put this in. This is gonna be a little bit of a... That was well built. And let's coast it down the wall. Yeah. They have no outside lintel to support the brick. But by code, we have to have a steel lintel, which goes across six inches on the brick on each side. This guy was uh, an architect, proud of his designs, and yet he brought in his own guys to do this work. What a joke. Garbage. Nothing is secured. This whole friggin' wall is moving. I pull out these two jams, and I actually weaken the structure of the brick here. Was that what I was meant to do, fix other people's garbage? A lintel is a steel L shape. Normally, we'll put it on the inside, so the upturn is in between the brick, and you only see the face come out. In this instance, we cannot do it. We have to do it the other way around. We're capping the outside of the window, so it's okay anyways. So rather than try and bolt or screw this lintel in place, using PL Premium on the inside face where it bonds to the brick. Okay, we gotta come out. What we're doing here is we're going to set the back face of the window flush with the wall because we want to cap this irregularity of the brick that was from the other window. So we're going to put up three quarter inch plywood on top of this, cap this with aluminum up over the edge and into the groove of the window. It's gonna look beautiful. It looks so much better. We got it all closed in on the inside. Insulated vapor barrier, drywall, put in two new windows. The siding guys are here today. So you're gonna replace all these straw right across? Right. Fabulous. Flash them on top here or soffit? Soffit. It's gonna look beautiful. They're loosening here so that they have room to expand and contract. He's got about two inches from the top of the roof. I've got about four inches from the top of the roof. So it leaves a nice slope on it so the water can run off. The guys that did the work in the first place just did not care. The guys that came in the second place, banded over banded. I'm extremely confident it won't leak again. We have solved the problem where it, where it was coming in, mainly from the top, uh, also from the front where the, it was just, all the seals were broke. Good stuff, Rob. I'm just gonna go get the uh, clients and bring them out and show them, okay? Rob's just finishing up the flashing around the window and the caulking. It looks so nice and clean. Yeah, I like that very much. Job went to schedule uh, with a ton of frustrations uh, just because we're, we're opening up and finding uh, Band-Aid after Band-Aid after poor workmanship, honestly. Four contractors come in, not one of them can solve the problem. They only seem to escalate the problem. It looks so much better. 
big difference, eh? It's a big difference. It's clean, it's functional. And you know, it doesn't leak. And it's watertight. <laughs> watertight. You know, we've, we've broken it from the upper, upper window to the bottom, and mainly for weight load. It's just too much of a weight load on the bottom window. And then we tied in the softened fascia with the uh, roof coming over, which is continuous. We yeah. no longer have a problem with water coming into the house. Yeah. The first thing I'm going to do when I come into a, a water problem where it's coming inside the house is you start at the top. All these guys don't look over their head, but they did not look up. They didn't have a ladder. Four contractors come in and not one of them looked up. Not one of them said to the client here, spent thousands of dollars, it's coming from the top. Everyone said it's coming from the bottom. I yeah, like and then you extended it all the way there, so that helps too. We're yeah. going to do it. We took it all down. It's all new. New downspout all the way right down to the ground. Yeah. Sealed at the uh, joint. Uh, all new. East drop above. Yeah. Well, when we pulled this window, it was all wrong. All the structure, we had to fix the inside. We had to put in a steel lintel above because it did not do that. Uh, and now it's covered up. I like it that you can't see it. It matches the other window. Mm -hmm. I, I like it, it looks like a picture yeah. frame. Yeah, yeah it, it does. You did more than what we expected to, so that was yeah, really nice. Definitely. You guys did a really That's good job. We, we do what we have to do. Yeah. Well, we are very relieved, pleased. Looks Excellent. Good. Okay, thanks a lot, Mike. Okay, keep smiling. Thank you. You're welcome. But it's been a pleasure. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Take care, eh? Okay. Keep smiling. Can't be more, right? Just calling a consultant will solve this problem. What is a consultant? He's an advisor. He's somebody who's been in this business for many years, has a ton of experience, and what he's going to do is come in, open it up, do a water test, give a written report as to what has to be done here, so it costs you another $500, but in this case, it costs them thousands by pulling in four different contractors. Good job, Sean. Take care, buddy. See you See next you. time. Yes, sir.